oh my god you have a teenager you don't even look that old uh, what do you do for your skin care why do you look so young these are some of the comments i keep getting from many people and i don't want to brag about it but i will be turning 42 this month so in this video i want to share what are some key things that can accelerate aging and if there are natural ways to slow it down but before we get into it we need to understand that aging is a complex process and is mainly dependent on your genetics however your lifestyle and your environment do play a very important role aging cannot be completely stopped and as we age it's natural to get thinner and drier skin as our collagen level falls and you will see fine lines and wrinkle appearing in fact as we grow older we should actually celebrate it as an achievement and blessing that we got to experience our life in different decades and all the memories that we have made and hopefully we have learned from each stage all right coming back to today's topic many experts agree that there are some positive steps that you can take to feel and look younger so let's look into some of the ways that can help prevent premature aging so let's start with our skin something that you must take care of every day and especially when you go out in sun so from 9 a.m to 4 p.m the uv rays are the harshest so make sure to apply sunscreen when you go out during this time this video of a truck driver got viral whose half of the face was always exposed to the sun and you can see uh, the amount of damage that it has done for the half and uh, you can see how it compares with the other half so try to stay indoors during those peak hours i know sun is a great source of vitamin d and it's very healthy for you if you use this resource in the early morning hours so you can go for a walk before 8 a.m um, by 9 a.m try to be indoors but if your job does require you to be outdoors during 10 a.m to 4 p.m make sure to apply a good sunscreen I apply this sunscreen which has SPF of 40 and it's zinc oxide based but you can choose from any sunscreen that you like but it should have SPF of at least 30. To get a full SPF protection you need to apply the sunscreen liberally and evenly uh, and if you are staying out for longer period make sure to apply it every two hours. Next I would like to talk about the skincare routine. I follow a very basic skincare routine which is easy to maintain. I wash my face with a mild cleanser and I apply a moisturizer. So it's very important to clean your face twice a day and especially after you sweat. So <clears throat> and if I'm wearing a makeup I make sure to remove it uh, during night time before I sleep. I use these two moisturizer Nivea and CeraVe and I use one in the AM and one in the PM. When I turned 40, I started using this vitamin C serum and retinol and I use them alternatively on different days. These are also very helpful. Uh, additionally, once or twice a week, you can do a simple face mask depending on your skin type. I like to use natural remedies like honey, turmeric, sandalwood and aloe vera on my skin. So just find something that works for your skin type. Also, don't forget to exfoliate your skin once or twice a week to remove dead cells and promote cell turnover. You can also get facials done or do it on your own uh, every couple of months because it does improve blood circulation and deep cleans and moisturizes our skin for maximum benefits. Another thing that you can use uh, is called retinol. They are the key ingredients in all anti-aging face creams. I'm using this one from CeraVe, but you can consult with your dermatologist if you have a lot of fine lines and hyperpigmentation or acne prone skin, they will be able to prescribe you a stronger one. You can start by putting it every other night and see how your skin reacts to it. Sometimes uh, uh, they can have drying effect on the skin and you have to remember that retinols take a long time to work for like months and years before you start seeing their benefit. The cosmetic industry is also full of different type of serums, but I like to use vitamin C serum uh, that I have started using recently. It is a very powerful antioxidant that works to stimulate co collagen production in your skin. 
It will also fight fine lines, brighten your complexion and provide a host of other benefits. Skincare experts recommend it as one of the best anti-aging ingredient you could ever use. Although we get vitamin C from the foods we eat, it probably doesn't end up in our skin. Using vitamin C serum is the easiest and most direct way to deliver the nutrient to your skin. It's highly effective product in the treatment of acne. And in, this is the reason why most skincare products contain vitamin C. Sometimes we go with some products that irritate our skin. So make sure you stop using that product, even if it's recommended by someone, because it may not suit your skin type. I know that retinol can sting or burn your skin or cause dryness. So make sure to consult with your doctor uh, uh, if it's good for you and if you should continue to use it. Also with vitamin C serum and retinol, it's very important that you apply sunscreen when you step out because it makes our skin more prone to sun damage. I also recently bought the CeraVe eye cream that I uh, put under my eyes at night time. It does claim to prevent fine line puffiness and dark circles, but I feel the best way to not uh, get these problems in the first place is if when you get enough sleep. A very important thing that you need to focus on is getting enough sleep because our body needs the sleep time to repair cells and to rest our heart and our mind needs to dream to stay sane. And this is very important for your overall health, including your skin, is when you eat plenty of fruits and vegetables that are high in vitamin C. It prevents damage that leads to premature skin aging. So make sure to include antioxidant rich foods like berries, green leafy vegetables and nuts to fight free radicals. Also, a lot of research studies suggest that a diet that contains a lot of sugar or simple carbohydrates can also accelerate aging. So what I do is that I naturally go for natural sugar alternatives like you can choose stevia or maybe date sugar or coconut sugar. I have made another video explaining those in detail so you can check that out. I like to curb my sugar cravings by eating more fruits because they have complex carbohydrates and they're packed with so many vitamins and minerals. Um, berries, as I mentioned earlier, are particularly high uh, in antioxidants that delays aging. The next best thing that you do uh, is to cut your saturated fat intake from your diet. And the main sources of saturated fat are junk food and fast food. So increase the amount of plant-based food in your diet and reduce red meat or cut it all together if you can. Also try switching to fish and chicken and eat more complex carbohydrates such as whole grains, fruits and vegetables. Actually, the healthy fats in some fish such as salmon uh, can prevent oxygen free radical molecules from damaging your cells. So definitely include omega-3 fatty acids in your diet by consuming fish and flaxseed or you can take supplements to improve your skin elasticity. Next, if you drink alcohol, please do that in moderation because what alcohol does is it damages your genes and inflames your liver. Also, you should avoid uh, excessive caffeine and any type of spicy food as they can dehydrate your skin and cause premature aging. This is a new habit of mine, which I am uh, consciously focusing on, is to keep myself hydrated well. I like to drink regular water and coconut water. Water is very important as it keeps your skin moisturized from within. Uh, what I started doing is that I fill this 1.5 liter water bottle and by the end of the day, I need to finish it. So this way I can keep track of how much water I'm drinking throughout the day. And this is for my uh, Caucasian friends who like to get a tan. You just need to remember that this will prematurely age your skin. So any type of tan from the sun or tanning bed or indoor tanning equipment are all harmful for your skin because they emit these harmful UV rays that will speed up uh, your skin aging if you get these done regularly. 
In India, there is an emphasis on yoga. So try to follow this basic morning routine, which is when you get up, drink a glass of plain water and after freshening up, do about 15 minutes of yoga, including five minutes of pranayama or deep breathing exercises, then two minutes of stretching and two minutes of Surya Namaskar or sun salutation. And then the remaining time you could do some other yoga exercises. I will be making another video on that shortly. So that should be helpful. In addition, try to incorporate 20 to 30 minutes of walking each day. When you ex exercise most days of the week, your blood circulation improves and your immunity gets a boost, which in turn makes your skin appear more youthful. This is my personal belief that when we worry a lot and we get these fine lines around our forehead because um, so try to think uh, positive and um, don't think about the factors that you cannot directly control instead focus on your own self-development save positive affirmations listen to positive motivational videos read those type of books that give you uh, overall positive energy make sure to meet with your friends and people that you like hanging out with they are all very helpful for your overall health including your skin and it does slow down aging so manage stress through techniques like exercising, meditation, or engaging in hobbies you enjoy. And this is for people who smoke. If, you, if there's something that you can do to slow down aging and feel and become healthier and prevent many illnesses ranging from heart disease to lung uh, disorders, you should quit smoking as soon as possible. Another way to slow down aging is to let go of the guilt from your life and start living in the present. Become more future minded because guilt and regrets are part of your past and you need to evolve and change to stay young. So don't be afraid to make a big change because it's never too late to move. Join a new club or activity, change your career or get married or maybe get a divorce but never say that you're too old to do these things. Sometimes the decisions that we have taken in the past are not that fruitful and we should not be afraid to change them. So go for it. And lastly, always continue to work and because your brain needs to think to function better, this also delays aging. I hope you found this uh, video useful. By following these steps, you can prevent premature aging and enjoy a youthful appearance for many years to come. As always, if you like today's video, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Thank you so much for watching. This is Parul from A Happier Me and I'm signing off now. Bye.